is generally accepting, okay, these people are following Islam. But do you find anything that related to your need? I find that the understanding of certain things might be useful for certain occasions. I, I, you know, you know when you understand certain things, and then that might come useful for stressful situations or for situations of distress and despair. Sometimes using the learning of, you know, the Quran or you know what I mean, whatever comes to me, I think it would be really useful. But is it? You know what I mean. I need to know, to not to be able to ask the question, to you know, to answer the question. Is it for me? I need to know more, and I feel like couldn't be fair of me to say yes. You know what I mean. <laughs> no, I, I think this is a great way to portray your understanding. What I would say is just going to add something. I'm going to agree what you have said. I'm going to say a guidance, something we need totality. When I say totality, that human beings need guidance in every aspect of the life. The problem we are going through in the society is because we have lack of guidance or we creating guidance for ourselves. So, and then we lead to individualism, which is individual idea of perception of this world and then we have another way which is people are following the religion of godly books and the guidance so you have a set of different types of guidance available there now what each of them actually contradict one another each of them contradict one another (laughs) now within this contradiction within that guidance which guidance is accurately correct and preserved and cater for humanity, we must give uh, uh, some examination yeah. and then, then look at which guidance is the correct guidance. Now, we can happily eliminate the idea of individualism, which is the desire and define through our desire what is truth, its subjectivity. Like for example, homosexuality was banned in early 1900 in UK yeah. now it's been legalized uh-huh. so our subjective understanding change what was prohibited now is allowed right uh-huh. what we say is we cannot take individualism as a way of guiding like for example now a new notion you will find system doing good and I'm good to each everyone people formulated this is a belief but that's not totality that's a a spec uh-huh. in the total uh, uh, guidance, yeah, compared to the total guidance. Then we come to the religious guidance where the set of people were talking about the guidance. Now we need to see the claim that made by the religious group who are actually true. And there are tools that within us that we can use it, like our rational faculties. You know, one plus one plus one yes. is equal three. Yes. <laughs> one plus one is equal to two. That's true. Right? So you have those tools of reasoning. If you apply that, the first and fundamental question, how many God in this universe? Which religion answer you rationally? <laughs> it's a big question. And a very easy answer. I think... I think all religions maybe try to no. do that. <laughs> That's why I say each of them contradict one another. So therefore, they cannot be true at the same time. So God in three in one cannot be God is one, same. Christian understanding, God is three in one, Trinity. And God is one and alone and independent are not the same. Which one you go by? <laughs> At the moment, no. <laughs> but because you know what I mean. Because I need to be. I yeah. Of course, I'm honest with you. I I like. I'm very interested about religions. It's very because, like you yeah. said, there are so much in it. So it's interesting to know what they can offer in different ways. So sorry, I'm, I just need to check yeah. if it's you know how long six minutes. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I want to ask you to do some process of elimination. Process of elimination. What is the process of elimination? 
can you accept a human as a god a human being who eat food who eat food who sleep i wouldn't say i wouldn't say that's possible fine then <laughs> is it yes then you have only one option left <laughs> If so, if someone believe there is only one God, and if someone believe there is three God, is the understanding same? No. No. Do you know why? It's the biggest matter of the question. Do you know why? Uh, you tell me why. No, I don't know. I don't Imagine know. if I take money from you, <laughs> yeah. and you are alone giving me all the support, and I start thanking someone else and not you. Is that fair? No. That's the way to go. So, when people are worshiping in Trinity, you giving God's rights to a man, you God, you giving God's right to a Holy Spirit, which we say the biggest injustice committed in the face of the planet, because the right of God has been taken off. From the yeah, yeah, that's a very interesting. Point. Therefore, we say that if you worship something beside god it's a misguidance and this is called shirk in arabic uh -huh. you know the basic arabic shirk uh -huh. means associating partner with god meaning you giving share of god's rights to something other than not godly therefore we believe there is only one god and the same god is the lawgiver and then we go by the lawgiver whatever he has prescribed in his inscription which is we believe in Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad and we go by that because first premise we establish God is not the author of the confusion I am telling when I believe in God I'm not just saying okay I believe in God no I believe in God is all-knowing I'm believing God is all-wise I'm believing God didn't create everything aimlessly so he set a purpose and our purpose is to acknowledge God and worship God this is our purpose so Islamic purpose of our life Allah created life and death to test us uh -huh. so test can be comes in a many different forms different ways, yeah. Allah will give you wealth to test you whether you can give it to poor uh -huh. and the same way Allah will take from poor to see whether he's content with whatever yeah. he have okay. and at the same time Allah is saying the justice will never be able to uh, you know you will not be able to find justice in this world totally I'm yeah. saying there are part of justice there but the absolute justice require another day of judgment well Allah will bring back everyone so that you know he can question everyone and reward and punish accordingly based on the merit of each person what he did that is Islam in an in a nutshell so therefore when I define my guidance I cannot define my own guidance rather I rely on my maker to tell me the guidance but Im just imagine one thing the creator of the heavens and the earth who created and shaped all the universe and he has placed luminous lamp millions and trillions of stars and galaxies at the same same way the same creator shaped me and you with order with perfection but do you think the same creator would not give you any purpose <laughs> I mean that's a very important consideration but yeah no but if, no there is a yeah. purpose we would like to think there is a purpose isn't it otherwise no I think no we, we, we not like to think my <laughs> sister let me address to you our reason I'm really sorry, I'm listening to yeah you, okay. <gasps> zero minutes yeah I'm so sorry. Look after yourself. You don't have to read throughout the Quran and you can watch it in Dawa to Soul. Okay. Dawa D A W A H okay. number two okay. soul. Okay. Look after yourself. Are you sure this is for This is for you. Is Look amazing. after yourself. And, yourself. You. and I pray that I'm God guide you to Islam. Look after yourself. Thank you. Curious sister. Um she uh, she agreed that you she gonna use process of elimination inshallah so I asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide her to Islam she's very interested in Islamic culture I shared the belief to her and uh, we go through some practical experimentation of elimination 
and the process of elimination is something very important and she acknowledged and agreed with that now guidance is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all we can do is make dua for her please make sure dua for her inshallah on that note you know please make dua jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum